guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. Today's video is sponsored by Hoselink. We're gonna be checking out one of their retractable hose reels. You guys might have noticed this behind us in several videos this spring because Hoselink did send one out so that we could try it out, see if it was something we liked. We've been using it in the greenhouse and it's been working really well so far. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember, but last year we did a couple videos where we unboxed and set up a couple other hose reels. And I was saying in those videos that Boy, it would be nice to have a hose reel that had a guide. This one not only has a guide, but it retracts on its own, which is amazing. So the first thing that I noticed about this one when it arrived is that there's hardly any assembly. It came with a bracket with four bolts. We installed it into a stud here in our greenhouse, but you could put it on a four by four post out in your garden or on the side of your house. Once the bracket is on, the entire reel is just 32 pounds and just slides easily onto the bracket. I think 32 pounds is a pretty easy weight for most of us. It also swivels 180 degrees, which is a really nice feature. Oftentimes reels will only face one direction at a time. The leader hose, which is the hose that goes from your reel to your water source is six and a half feet long. And the main hose is 82 feet long with a 9 16th inch diameter hose, which is a little smaller than typical hoses. I don't find that to be an issue though with this. It does make the hose lighter and I haven't had any issues with water pressure so far. The connections on each end are standard and will fit any other hoses or sprayers you have. The main hose is 82 feet and I generally put 75 feet on each one of my faucets so I find that that actually fits my needs really really well. The hose unwinds off the reel without much effort. There's a little resistance though because it is spring loaded. It's not 100% silent as you pull the hose. There's a click sound that keeps the hose from retracting unintentionally. Once you've pulled out the amount you want, you can stop at any point and the hose will stay in place. When you're done watering, just give the hose a little bit of a tug and the springs inside will pull the hose right back to the main unit. The directions do say to not let go of the hose at this point because if you do, the force of it coming back to the unit could cause a little bit of internal damage. The plastic casing is UV stabilized, so it should be just fine out in the sun. But if you live in an area where it gets freezing in the wintertime like I do, it's best to take the reel off the wall and store it somewhere out of the elements. There's also covers you can get for this, which are kind of fun. This one's called Florida Palms, but there is a more neutral option if that's kind of more of your style. They just add a little bit more protection. The reel comes with quick connectors. They can save you a bunch of time if you find yourself switching out accessories all the time, like from a hose wand to a sprinkler, that kind of thing. You also get a hose and sprayer with seven adjustable spray patterns. Overall, I think that this reel checks off most of the boxes for home gardeners. It does for me anyway. I like the fact that it's clean and tidy. Most hoses don't look that way and the fact that it's retractable. So it saves you a whole bunch of physical work and it swivels 180 degrees. I've been looking around out in my garden for areas where I can install more of these. I love the fact that it doesn't take up a huge amount of real estate to install it. Most hose reels you need at least like 12 to 18 inches in order to put your bolts in. This you need about four inches so you can easily install it on a four by four post. So that's pretty much it for this video you guys. I hope you enjoyed the overview of this hose reel and maybe learning a different option to maybe make your life a little easier out in the garden with your hoses. We will leave a link down below for those of you who want to learn more or if you want to get one for your own garden. We will see you in the next one. Bye.